A Seattle family and their two cats, one of the cats blind, helping spread awareness for other folks with blindness. It's such a great story. They're now actually taking their mission to space, which we'll get to in a moment. Joining us this morning to explain is Mick Sidlowski and his cat friends, Oscar and Klaus. Good morning to all three of you. Good morning. Thank you for having us on. We've been watching the two of them, and they clearly love each other and get along. What's their relationship like? Who helps whom? I don't know if there's... You know, a lot of people assume that Klaus helps Oscar since Oscar is blind, and that's certainly not the case. I think that they're both, you know, capable of, of doing everything they need to do at home. Um, so, you know, the relationship for the most part is like this, a lot of cuddling, a lot of sleeping, a lot of grooming, and uh, that's maybe 20 hours out of the day, and the other four hours, a lot of play. I mean, they really interact well together. So these two are famous, internet famous and really now famous publishing wise and soon to be space famous as well. What's the thing that really launched their career as stars? It, Oscar's YouTube video from uh, October of 2011. So this he was- right here. Yeah, he was only oh oh, four or five months old at the time we filmed this, and that's my wife holding a hair dryer. That's something she did every morning. <laughs> every morning? Yeah, she would, he, he wants to play, and he likes exploring his world, so he would engage with the air coming out of there. She holds down that oh, cold air button. That's amazing. And does, you know, the Rocky boxing thing there. And that really is a great cat video because you can see five seconds of the video, it's funny, or you can watch the whole thing and then be blown away by, you know, the fact that he stands on his legs for, you know, 25 seconds. So, uh, you know, that spread like wildfire uh, around the world, different TV stations picked it up, you know, Ellen and, and other TV shows. So a lot of people at that point started asking questions. What is it like living with a blind cat? So we expanded to other social media to share our story and experience. And it brought you to do some incredible work with the National Federation of the Blind. Talk a little bit about that. How did that come about? Ultimately, the National Federation of the Blind discovered the children's books that we started writing featuring Oscar and Klaus. And they love the fact that Oscar is a character who is not defined by blindness. He's an adventurous cat, but in really no ways is he exceptional. This isn't some you know, character with superpowers or anything like that. So he is a really good role model for a lot of kids, you know, that you just have to explore the world around you, gain independence. And uh, we received a very generous grant to convert portion of the books into Braille. And that really is a big deal because it allows us to sell the, the books uh, in print versions and Braille versions for the same low price and reach an all new audience. Uh, we worked on making audio books to make the story accessible to others. And ultimately, Oscar became not only a card carrying member of the NFB, but also a Braille literacy ambassador. Oh, so wow. a lot of cool projects in the works. Look at that. You can see there, that's one yeah, of the Yeah, here's one of the books, about. and you can see the, the Braille up here. Th these are just beautiful books, beautifully illustrated, and the stories are just really fantastic. I mean, the, the message is just such a, it's like you said, it's not about being extraordinary, it's about being extraordinary for different reasons, for being yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And living the life that you want to live. Right. You know, Oscar wants to explore, and that's what he does. And space. So when we yeah. talk about launching something into space, that is a huge deal. How did that come about? And we have the book. We do, yes. And this yep. particular book is going to be launched into space. So where did this conversation start? The conversation started with an organization called Storytime from Space. And this is an organization consisting of former astronauts and educators uh, working together to really get kids interested in science and space exploration at an early age. And they actually were, um, a backer of the book since we funded the initial printing of it via Kickstarter. And we kind of kept the conversation going and they loved the fact that the book, even though it's sci-fi and, and you know there's some kind of out there elements to it, uh, other than the cats, you know, having spacesuits and so on. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't really um, perpetuate any misconceptions about space travel. There's some factual information there, you know, like the escape velocity to leave the planet and so on. So uh, they really like that that scientific aspect, even though it's a children's book. And uh, they suggested that this should be a book that actually goes up to the International Space Station. And at this point, it, it, it is scheduled to launch on August 1st, actually via SpaceX rocket from Florida, so that's super exciting. That is exciting, but you need a little bit of help, it sounds like, or maybe a lot of help. Well, you know, the, the majority of the cost is obviously covered and figured out by story time from space, but as an author, I am responsible for uh, materials testing to make sure that the book doesn't contain toxic materials and that it's cleared by a NASA lab to travel up there. 
And uh, you know, there is some cost involved there and the creative way of getting that funding, we decided to sell shirts featuring Oscar uh, and the International Space Station. And they are available on oscarintoorbit.com. And you can purchase a shirt and actually has braille on it that's readable. If you can use your finger to uh, <laughs> run across that, you can read what it says. And uh, this will help us raise the funds necessary to offset that lab bill. It's a government lab, you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. It's a chunk of change. Yeah. Well, yeah. we are just so appreciative, Mick, of you sharing our story. And same to you, Klaus and Oscar. Look how, look how just chill yeah. they are. They're leave them like, here the whole day. If you I know that. <laughs> <laughs> they're used to being on TV. They're like, we're stars. We're famous. Come we're famous on. than you. Don't they are, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much.